Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to I Attempted Impossible Mario by Jaden Animations. Now, I have not seen this, but I know what Impossible Mario is. It's Mario, but if it was made by an internet troll. So, it's it's one of those like troll type games where you don't know what's going to happen next until you like actually know what's going to happen and, you know, it tries to trick you constantly. And I have seen it. I think it's similar to, like, the Cat Mario game, which is kind of the same. But, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm guessing this is going to be one of those, like, normal gaming videos that's mixed with, like, animation, which, by the way, are my favorite. Genuinely, I, I like those kind of videos. I think they're very unique and creative. And, genuinely, I think just, like, having animated gags go with... Uh, go with the, like, gameplay footage is awesome. But, yeah, anyways, guys, we're getting some description. Make sure I'm Jane Animations. Let's just get right into it. You already know Mario. I'm not gonna explain him. I'm not gonna explain Mario to you, but a lot of people don't know about a little Mario community that thrives in the depths of the deep, dark Mario crevices. I'm talking about Mario Kaizo. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Kaizo. Mario Kaizo is basically fan-made high-difficulty Mario. People will take base games like Mario Bros. 3 or Super Mario World and rearrange the levels to look like this. As yeah. you can see, a little more tricky than normal. I've been casually watching Mario Maker and Mario Yeah, Kaizo Mario Maker is a lot of those. Years. I just think it's fun to watch while I'm eating cereal in the morning. And then one day I just stood up and was like, I want to do it. My favorite Mario content creator is Ryukar, so I DM'd him asking if he had any Kaizo recommendations that are, you know, beginner friendly. I mean, <laughs> I'm naturally gifted at video games, but at Yo! it's, it's, it's Mario Kaizo. That's a terminal montage a reference, isn't it? Over here. Cut me some slack, all right? Ryu asks if I've played any Kaizo hacks before, and I'd say no. no. And then he asks if I've ever played any Kaizo levels in Mario Maker before, and I'd say no. no. And then he asks if I've ever at least done a shell jump before. And I go, I've played Hollow Knight. And he goes, I don't think that can help you here. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. After a few more messages, okay. Ryu generously offers to train me for Kaizo before I jump straight into a complete ROM hack. And oh boy, that was extremely nice of him. And extremely needed. We hopped into a Discord call, yeah. and as I screen shared the training ROM, he was able to give me tips and pointers of what to do and how to do tricks. So oh, I opened okay. up the first stage. So called this bit animated? Simple jump. And. Uh, All right, so this level. Yeah, okay. I was like gonna say, is there also gonna be a bit where, like, the they have the actual oh. Discord call? <laughs> Are you picking up on what I'm about to be dealing with here? Anyway, throughout the session, I learned about getting past chucks, getting past reverse chucks, how to deal with lava plants, what slow and fast fall is, balancing on disco shells, precise swimming mechanics, grabbing and jumping on this block thing at the same time. It's weird. Shell jumps, you know. The basics. I was what? suddenly getting more familiar with the moves and learning everything, and I'll be honest, I was starting to feel pretty good. You know, kind of getting the hang of it now, bit of a confidence boost. Okay. And then I hit the test stages, where all the mechanics you learned are packed into, like, an actual level. Test one wasn't too bad, it looks like this, and ended up taking me around 20 minutes to beat but test two was the one that got me it's a short fast-paced level with no checkpoints but uh, between the really difficult button input to do the block grab jump thing straight into a shell jump and then land on tiny dino man onto yoshi i was my armpits were sweating the last trick you gotta do is ditch yoshi and win but since i bonked my head or missed the jump so many times you can you can see the trauma behind this hesitation here but i ended up getting it after an hour and a half oh, no. of attempts. after all that ryu says he thinks i'm ready for the real deal sends over the rom he recommended and here's my experience trying to beat my first mario kaizo hack super ryu world okay this is how the game starts out <laughs> wow you're doing great that's fair hey alpha red so, level one i'll be honest i could tell that's alpha red immediately jump on a few guys do some right? more jumps choke it right sounded like the checkpoint no oh but eventually yeah. i was able to beat it and i'll admit i was pretty stoked <laughs> alpha red's a man of comedy oh oh yes i was worried i wouldn't even be able to pass the first level and i actually just couldn't make this video because I was too bad. But knowing I can beat at least one, 
Yeah. <laughs> and more to me than yes. it should. Yes. And okay. the show goes on. Level two was ramping up. You run through and dodge various swamps and stuff to hit a Yo, this push, animated then run section back is so good, in reverse honestly. So you can get into the it's pipe actually that awesome. previously unreachable. It's After really well done. After many attempts and this... Ooh. No, let me in. <laughs> I managed to slip my way into the pipe where I met these two friendly guys. I was really caught off guard by cats in Mario game. What? So caught off guard, in fact, that I just ran into them and died. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. What? What is that? Oh. Yo! Oh. I beat the stage quickly after, so let's not. We're, come on. Next was what? this really cool S. I I didn't even know cats were in the game this Galumba either. at the very start and use them to progress through the stage. It was difficult, but I had a really fun time with this one and the atmosphere was really cool. But I guess I was having too much fun because I let my guard down and got real humbled. Uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> nice. So the first time I got to the that Kaizo part, blocks. I thought the Galumba would turn around and come back. But he didn't, so I just watched him walk off the edge and strand me. Anyway, I had a hunch the checkpoint was right after that pipe, so I knew that if I just got that jump right, I could start making more progress. And after like 30 minutes of trying to get back in there, I finally did. On the bright side, I was completely right about the checkpoint being there. I did not, however, calculate this. She didn't get the <gasps> did checkpoint. It. Oh, you did it. Please, a checkpoint. No! Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, that was a good one. I couldn't even get mad. And it's even more funny when after you get the checkpoint, they'll spawn you right above that pipe continuously. So whenever you start again, you gotta immediately hold hard right. Oh, so yeah, I eventually- Really? The stage. Wow. Now let me tell you about the four. So I guess level. I was kind of wrong about this. It's mainly about Kaiser levels. Moles. It was a lot of tricky maneuvers that didn't leave much room for error. Also, I thought the beginning was funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trying to jump on these slippery little freaks was a bit rough. This was hard. This was hard. This was hard. I did this part wrong. I think I needed him. This guy suicided. No, don't do it. Oh. And then it just got worse. The second part of the stage turned into a build a bridge mole escort mission. I'll save you all the pain and agony. Oh God, one of those level, levels. Especially the second half. Gave me the most hell compared to the upcoming levels for a while. Even more hell than the level called Jank Heaven. I don't really want to cover every single thing that happened in every single level, but I can give you a little taste of what Jank Heaven was like real quick. <laughs> that Mario sprite. No. Shoot. Oh. <laughs> that's a jump that's just hard. I think everything I do here is impressive. Yeah, the on off blocks. Just some what? benchmark, yes. <laughs> wow. Oh. It's just I'm good glad timing. You, like, had the awareness, dude. That's like, holy shit. Oh. Oh. Shit. oh. Ooh. Shoot. This is the last jump. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I'm progressing a good amount into the okay. game at this point, but then I get to a ghost house called the waiting room. Overall, it was a pretty difficult all-in-one go level with no checkpoint, but the one part that just kept tripping me up throughout wiggler. the entire stage was this part where you jump onto this wiggler, balance on him until that wall goes back up, jump off, and then whatever, do bomb stuff. I just couldn't do the wiggler <laughs> do part consistently stuff. at all. Either I would mistime the jump and pathetically hop off the edge like this, or do this, or this, Ooh. but it was mainly the pathetic one. I would say probably 80% <laughs> of my okay. deaths happened on that part specifically, and it technically isn't even the hard part of the level. I really don't think that part was even meant to be that hard at all. But an hour and 30 minutes of doing the same mistakes over and over, just trying yeah, my best. I realized there was a much easier and smoother way to do that entire part. And I literally wasted all that time making the whole thing way more difficult than it needed to be. Oh. Nice. That's so much easier. Huge. Oh my god, I can't believe I've been dying to that wiggler that way this whole time, <laughs> and I could just do that. It's probably what's intended as well. You're probably right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, once I learned that, I beat the stage 20 minutes later. That was, that was awesome.
Am I upset? No, not really. I'm an animator that works in Adobe Animate slash Flash. I'm used to throwing away multiple hours of work into the trash. By the way, this happens right now. Oh, of yeah, yeah, true. Okay. Dup, 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 dup. Be cool, be cool, be cool. You fur. I love <laughs> 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 I didn't know. What? Sure you did. The stages are getting much more difficult at this point. There's only four worlds in the game, each containing around three or four levels, which going into it, I didn't know. I thought there was gonna be a full eight worlds and I was starting to sweat in world three. But yeah, Ryu ended up telling me I was in the home stretch and I popped off so hard. I just thought oh, I was nice. bad this whole time. After a few more levels, pain, agony, I made it to the last world and oh my God. World 4, Stage 1, was the worst thing this game ever ended up throwing at me. I don't even know how oh, to go into no. detail with all the okay. tricks and moves you need to do in this stage, but I spent 4 hours on it. An hour and 40 minutes on the first half, and 2 hours 20 minutes on the second. I know oh. Mr. Beast and other content like that has kind of changed people's perceptions on how much is a lot of time in terms of YouTube content, Four hours is nothing compared to, I don't, 24 hours touching a worm. But I sat there making mistake uh. after mistake, learning and adapting and still failing for four hours straight. It was starting to like get to me, like personally. Eventually, every time I would mess up, I would feel it in my insecurity. Can't care what? Ah! I have no confidence in my own judgment to make important core decisions, but I did it what? again four hours okay. later. Maybe you don't think that's a long time, but I was wallowing I do. in my own personal hell I do. there for a while. So knowing that <laughs> was the very first hours level long, of the last long. world, I was suddenly very afraid of this game and what it'll do to me. But surprisingly, the other two levels weren't nearly as bad as the first one. I ended up finishing stage two in only an hour and a half and stage three in 30 minutes. That was the, the, the ego boost I needed to regain some strength again, I'll tell you that. Stage three boosts my confidence and stage one keeps me humble. Fair and balanced life, if <laughs> you ask me. What? I realized, okay. I was about to enter the last level. Dude, I'll be honest, I was mad proud of myself. I went from not even knowing if I could build enough skill to beat one level to getting ready to go into the final <laughs> level of yes. the entire game. Ryu yes. hopped into a call with me That's to be awesome. there for the finale, which basically meant he sits there for an indefinite amount of time watching me fail over and over on mechanics he's already mastered. Like, like watching a toddler struggle to fit the circle block in the square hole. Oh, in good old Mario Kaiser true. fashion, the level starts out with... This. I'm gonna miss this when I come out victorious. Or just perish on the spot, either way. So I started chipping away at the level, jump on these guys, balance on spiky, do this, do that. I was a little bit nervous because Ryu was watching and I, I wanted to show him how much I've gotten better at Kaizo. You know, like a teacher finally being able to see their student face their final fight to the death battle. Well, like, what? not just some school teacher, like a, a cool samurai teacher or something. <laughs> I messed it up. Anyway, I was <laughs> trying to impress him, and then I just went and did this, and this, and this. Bye. But he seemed proud of me anyway for just being able to get this far. I was making some good progress on the level. I was about to get to the final checkpoint, but, you know. Right, no, jump. I knew it. <laughs> Things happen. Ooh. Even though it was a really hard level, it was still surprisingly a lot of fun. And not nearly as bad as 4-1. I keep bringing it up, but I, you know, it really got to me. But like that, <laughs> maybe a bit less than three hours later, I got to the final room. It's boss fight time. For a final boss in a Kaizo hack, the fight was actually pretty chill. Not easy, but you chill. These on and off what? switches control the room going up and down, and you gotta get the floor low enough to grab these little blue blocks to throw at the giant King Boo or whatever he's called in this game but don't let it get too low because then you can die to the lava right beneath there so you're trying to keep all these things in mind but to add to the pile these little <laughs> flying boogers meander around the stage while you gotta dodge them and yes they're rng based they're random you can't just memorize they're their RNG? booger pattern and be on your merry way they're rng wow. okay the based? smart way to go about this boss uh. is to stay in the middle and calculate safe times to go to the sides and hit the switches 
But I was being stubborn and trying to brute force my own way to do it. What a little booger. <laughs> Those guys are no! <laughs> He punishes you for standing on the edges, you know? I'm gonna stand on this edge. <laughs> You're like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> doing it anyways. In the lava and then crushed. And then, oh. Yeah. Edge. Oh, as is life. Oh. Okay, Wonderful. I'm gonna stand on this <laughs> other side. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's, um, kind of is, actually. Except for the guys that come out of the wall and kill you. Dang. But it's she really bad. is just trying that. I'm gonna die on this hill. <laughs> I didn't know how many times you have to hit Boo. Mario rules always default to three, but it's Kaizo, so it could also very much be a thousand. They know. Hit one, hit two. No! Oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, so now I know you have to hit him, like, I assume five times. Oh. I'm not gonna spoil how many times you have to hit him. Yeah, so I hit him three times and didn't win, so I was like, all right, must be a thousand. But then a few <laughs> attempts later, this happened. One hit. Huh. Two. I'm guessing it's just three. No. Oh my god! Oh, snap. So there I I did get him three times and you then did, I and just then you died. died too quickly. Yeah, she just died. That's what I thought too. It was three. I just died too soon after that third shot, and it didn't count, which I'm going to choose to ignore. I did it. I learned Kaizo, and I beat Kaizo, and it only took 17 hours, not including training. Are there much oh. more difficult hacks out there? Oh yes, absolutely. Some of them look so disgusting, I don't even want to be in the vicinity of their aura. But I was able to oh. challenge myself and beat one that was really well suited for my skill set going in. And looking back at some of the things I was able to end up pulling off makes me feel very cool. Look at his stuff. I did that. It's cool, come on. I want my hard earned credit and applause, please. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about Kaizo is oh, how awesome. easy it is to visualize the progression of your skill within every single level. Like world three stage three starts off with a really difficult maneuver that I got hung up on for a while. And then suddenly I'm nailing it almost every single time. You yeah. can really feel and see yourself grow within Kaizo. And I don't think you can say that about a lot of things. Does that mean I recommend you try it? I mean... Absolutely not. Yeah. If you get impatient and frustrated easily and are also bad at video games, don't even think about oh, it. Oh, shoot. But I guess the third thing... If you thing. think it looks it... interesting and you can stay calm under extreme I feel like you also get that from playing Geometry Dash, actually. Kill, I can't recommend it enough. I liked it. Thanks to Ryu for helping me out and being extremely nice and training me and giving me a great ROM and literally just sitting there watching me struggle for many hours. Go check out <laughs> his channel. He's very entertaining. I've been watching him for years now. And oh, yeah, awesome. that's it. I'm officially very good at video games and I've supplied documented proof. Awesome. So yeah, honestly, this was a pretty cool video. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was enjoyable. I, I liked it. I, I thought it was uh, very well done, very well put together, uh, very well animated too. Love all the animated sections. They were actually pretty good. Uh, I liked it. Um, and yeah, honestly, it was uh, funny uh, to see her actually play the Kaizo levels. I mean, I, I don't know anything about Kaizo levels. I, I've never played them. I, I just know they exist. And that's that's really it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed the like and subscribe to my channel, see you next one. Bye!